we're going to be able to move up the ladder, go back into our platform behavior, and come down the ladder and back into our platform behavior. We're going to be able to stop halfway up the ladder, and then if we jump off to the side, we're back to our platform behavior. I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. Before we start, just a massive shout out to my Patreons, James Welch and Selwyn. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting my game dev journey. So I've got this comment from Samuel Miljand. Can you make ladder? So you can go up and down. Yeah, so I've got my green little square down here. This guy has two behaviors. I've added the eight direction and the platform behavior. If we look at the event sheet, I've only programmed in the W, A, and D for him to move left, right, and jump. That's all I've done. I've also created a sprite here, which has got a solid behavior, which is gonna act as the ledge above his head. And that's the same over here. And then I've created this little green one, which is just the same, just a different color, but this one has the jump through behavior. Then I've got the ladder itself, which is simply just a sprite with nothing special about it other than my art skills. If we play the game as it is, we can jump, we can move left and right, but we can't go anywhere. And if we jump directly under the ladder, we can jump through the jump through platform and then get stuck on top of it. So nothing's really working, but that's the setup that we have. So if we click on the platform character and we come over to the properties here, we can see the eight directional movement. I've disabled it because that's not going to be active when we start, because when we start the game, we're not going to be on a ladder. I've, de I've deselected default controls because I don't want the arrow keys to interfere. I've deselected default controls on the platform, but I've started the platform behavior as enabled. So now we need to add an event and we need to say player and we need to check to see whether we're overlapping our ladder. So if we're overlapping our ladder, then we need to go into player and we need to enable the eight directional controls. However, what we also need to do is disable our ability to jump because when we've got the eight directional controls enabled, we've also got this W up here that says when W is pressed, jump. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a group just for jumping. And I'm going to put that one in it. I'm going to get another group and I'm going to call it climb. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just copy out that code but I'm going to change this to say from on key pressed is key down. So if we're holding the down, down the W key, instead of jumping, I'm going to come up here to my eight direction. I'm going to simulate control and I'm going to simulate up. So now when we're overlapping the ladder, I can disable the jumping group. So I can go system group set active and that is jumping and I'm going to deactivate it. I also need to come in here and set the platform behavior to disabled so we don't have any conflicts. So I'm enabling a direction, disabling platform, disabling jumping. And now we can move up the ladder. I need to put a else statement on this block here. So if we hover, hover over this, cl click on the left hand side, highlight the whole thing, push X. If we're not overlapping the ladder, then I need to get all of this stuff, drag it down and I need to reverse it. So I can disable the eight direction. I can enable the platform and we can set jumping activated. But I need a way to exit the ladder because I don't have controls programmed in for left and right and down. So let's put those in now. So on key press A, D and S as well. A will be left, D will be right, and S will obviously be down. And they're only going to be relevant when we're on the ladder. So now we can go left, we can go right, we can climb the ladder. Although we're just kind of getting a little bit stuck when we come on and off. And that's because we're switching between the eight directions and the platform. And the speed of both are different. So if you look over here, the speed, if I click my player, on my eight direction is 100, whereas my platform speed is 330. So if I change that to the same speed, 
change the acceleration to the same and the deceleration to the same. Now we can pass through it pretty much with no issues. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out of the, the groups here because I don't think, I think that's just creating unnecessary code. Let's put everything back up there, get rid of the groups. Get rid of this. Now let's try that out. Okay, so we're still getting stuck on this little ladder here. And the way I'm going to fix that is by adding in another condition that says only if I'm pushing up and we're overlapping the ladder do I change the, the behaviors. Because there's no need to change the behavior. If I've got no intention of going up, there's no need to change the behavior. It's only if I start pushing the up arrow, that's when I want to be able to go up the ladder. So let's just say if we're overlapping the sprite and then add push C for a condition on the keyboard, and we're gonna say keyboard is down, and we're gonna say W. If W is down and we're overlapping, then we do that. So at the moment, I can now just smoothly run through that ladder, but as soon as I start pushing up, away I go. The only issue you can see there is when he jumps uh, when he gets to the top of the ladder, because we've got W held down, he does a jump right at the end. So the way I want to fix that is add the same condition like we did up here onto the jump condition here. So when we press W, add, uh, push C for a condition, I'm going to check to see if the player is overlapping the ladder. And I'm going to push I to invert it. So if, we're over, if we push W and we're not overlapping the ladder, then we can jump, otherwise we won't be able to. and he's getting stuck at the top there because the ladder doesn't go up high enough in terms of the sprite. So what I'm gonna do is double up my ladder size and I'm gonna move these almost to the top and put the jump through there. So now I can get up and down the ladder. Well, I can't get down the ladder, but I can jump again once I'm at the top of the ladder. We don't need this jump through block to be visible because that's gonna, it's just there to, to, to enable us to kind of go through it. So now we need to program in a way to get down the ladder. So the way we do that is by saying on keyboard down S, drag this down, a copy, re-invert it. If we're overlapping the ladder, then we can come down and that's going to allow us to climb down the ladder. But we're going to have an issue because we've got this jump through block here. So when we're sat on top of it, we might be overlapping the ladder, but that jump through block is going to stop us from heading down uh, the ladder. It's going to act as a solid on the way down. But the last thing we need to do is come up here, just modify this block that I've said if we're overlapping the sprite and W is down. Hit B for a sub event and just drag this W down into the sub event and then drag these two down into the W. So we're gonna create conditions underneath this condition. Select the block like I have here, hit B for another one, and then double click, and we're gonna say keyboard, and we're gonna say is down, and we're gonna say S. So now we're gonna say if we're overlapping the sprite and we're going up, which is W, or down, which is S, and I'm gonna keep these two the same, I'm gonna hold down control and drag a copy, so I want the same condition for both, and then I've got else, set it back to normal. And now, when we play, we're gonna be able to move up the ladder, go back into our platform behavior, and come down the ladder and back into our platform behavior. We're gonna be able to stop halfway up the ladder, and then if we jump off to the side, we're back to our platform behavior. And that's how we make a ladder in Construct 3.